okay so in this particular video we will be building a machine a virtual machine on top of VMware workstation so I will uh, go I will show you up step by step how to how to how to create a virtual machine in VMware workstation okay so for that you need to open VMware workstation and go to home and then click this box which says create new virtual machine okay so this will open a dialog box and I will be selecting custom and click next okay so this will give you a version of VMware workstation so as of now we are using 11.0 uh, so uh, the latest is 12 so you, you your version can differ but the options are quite same okay so you need to click next okay so as of now I will be installing the operating system later and defining the ISO file later okay so I will click next so in this scenario we are going to create a Microsoft Windows okay so we will be uh, selecting a guest operating system as Microsoft Windows okay and I will choose the version right from here so in our case it is Windows Server 2012 okay click next so this is our Windows Server 2012 and this will be acting as our first machine and which will be also we will build it as uh, what you can say a domain controller okay so I will put it at this DC okay name is at DC so so that we can identify this is our domain controller so I will copy this and we will be designated a particular disk on which we will put all the files of this particular virtual machine so I will click browse and I will go to computers I have designated a G drive as lab so I will go to a box called lab and it is there at says Windows and I will click OK and I will put the name of the virtual machine so that it will create a directory and which will be easy to manage that okay so all the files will be dumped into this particular directory it says Windows Server 2012 hyphen DC okay so I will click next so I will go with the firmware type BIOS. Click next. Okay. So I'm going with the CPU as one CPU and one core. Okay. I will click next. So by default you can see it is picking up two GB of RAM. That is fine with me. I will go with two GB and click next. Okay. So let me talk about a few things like. Uh, there are few networking mode which we can use from okay the first one is bridge the second one is NAT so by default you can see the NAT is uh, selected okay so NAT is a network address translation and what it is uh, going to give it is going to give a different series of IP which is being allocated uh, different from your actual network okay so if you use bridge that means whatever the IP series your switch is going to give to your physical network adapter same series of the IP can be given to the bridge networking of virtual machine which you're going to create okay so in our case we will be selecting bridge so that we can also communicate with outer network okay so I will be selecting bridge and which is directly uh, connected to our physical network a uh, physical network adapter and also getting the IP right from our switch so I will click next it's recommended to use LSI logic SAS so we'll be using it click next then SCSI is the recommended uh, to use the type of virtual disk I will click next so here again uh, we will create a new virtual disk and click next we will store it as a single disk and by default it picks as a dynamic disk as we discussed in the last video so if we select this allocate disk space it will create as a fixed disk but at this moment we will be concentrating on dynamic disk okay and I will be putting it a value as 250 GB but it will not pick up 250 GB till we really used up the space okay so it will dynamically grow so I will click next and click next and finish so this is our virtual machine and it's ready and we need to mount our ISO file of Windows Server 2012 so I will show you how to mount it okay so for that we need to go to edit and we need to go to CD I will use use ISO file and browse okay and now we need to really direct it to the location where our ISO file is located that is in data 
I show this is our Windows Server 2012 R264 bit and we will click open and click OK so in the next video I will show you how to install Windows Server 2012 so see you in the next video